Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be unboxing this Ryobi brushless drill and it's the R18PDBL-0 and um, I'm in the middle of a project and I needed this drill so this is gonna be a, a quick unboxing because I need to go use the drill I'll get back to it and then I know how it worked so the Ryobi 18 volt one plus system is a series where you buy this the batteries separately that um, comes that you can actually buy some tools with a battery but the idea is that all these batteries works for all the Ryobi one plus system and you get the batteries in different sizes this is a four amp hour battery freshly charged because i need this i uh, this is the most expensive Ryobi tool that I have gotten so far. It cost 1,149 Danish crowners, which I cannot calculate in my head, but it's close to 200 bucks US dollars. So um, let's um, let's see what we got. Um, the most important thing about this one is that it lights up blue when you're using it. That's of course the most important feature that a drill can have. They brag a lot about things over here. They brag about 18 volts, 16 newton meter, um, 0 to 400 RPMs and 0 to 1700 RPMs. I'm guessing that's the two gears, LEDs. There is two of those in there. Awesome. And well, drill bits and stuff. Two years of warranty. Awesome. So um, let's get it out of here. I need it. I'm expecting the regular stuff. There will be some paperwork and um, all the things that you're not supposed to be doing with this drill. And there is going to be a note that um, about with all the other good stuff that you can get. So which end do I want to open this in? Let's, let's open this one. There we are. Come on out. Come on. Paperwork and no accessories. The most expensive tool that I've bought from Ryopi and there is no accessories. Okay, so there is the manual here in multiple languages. Thank you. There is the, the brochure with all the stuff that I can wish me for my birthday. That is coming up, you guys. So, and service manual and more service manual. This is probably all the things you're not supposed to be doing with this. Danger! Danger! So, it is the drill. It looks awesome. Let's pop in a battery. It looks even more awesome. And it lights up blue. So. That's really weird. When I put it at one, it doesn't run very. It doesn't run very fast. If I put it to two, still not three. Not. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, there is an accessory. Oh yeah. Cool. Hmm. And then it don't want to go in there again. Okay, there it is. I think it looks cool. I know there's a lot of good tools out there and this is not the it's not the most professional brand. I know that, but it's the brand that I can afford and I kind of like this system. And if you see how many tools that I have gotten, where I can just buy the tool and not have to buy this. Well, this battery is, it's not as expensive as the drill, but well, the, the drill would cost almost a hundred dollars more. Actually, this battery in Denmark here, this is over a hundred dollars. And 
it works a lot better if these are clean. Cool. Really tedious. So, but now this one is complete. Uh, two down, three to go. New drill. I have just been using this drill, uh, not a lot, just a little bit, and um, it's awesome. It's a bit heavy for just screwing in things and stuff, but it's very powerful. You can, you can. F well, you have confidence when you when you grip this. Um, it has the two speeds. It has speed one and it has speed two. Um, and it can really drive really slow. So if you press it just a little bit, it will just turn around very slowly. And then it can go faster, of course. And it stops really fast. That's weird. There's a delay here. I want to try this again. Now, I think that was an error. I was speeding up very slowly and then it just cut out. Okay, then this time there was no problem. So that was the first speed. And uh, right, I'm all the way down on this uh, one. So it's, it's not very strong. But second speed, it, um, it doesn't start as slow. This is fairly fast. It did it again. I have no idea what that means. Probably we have to put this over a drill maybe. There's hammer drill and there's drill. Let's try it again. problem there whatsoever. So, cool. Hammer drill. I think I want to go try this. A million years in the making and I'm gonna drill a bloody hole in it. And um, this drill has this uh, feature that you don't have to hold anything when you when you release this. It's It has this auto tightening thing. So if you put in a drill, I'm gonna start with the smaller drill. Uh, Took out two in the basement. I have no idea if they're any quality whatsoever. So we're gonna put that in and it tightens all by itself. So that's cool. We're gonna put it to hammer and see what happens. It does drill. I don't know if first gear is better. Doesn't seem like it. I'll try the other bit and see if that's better. This one is getting hot. A million year old rock that takes a bit of time let's try a um, 
concrete brick. See if that's easier. Yeah, it's um, it's faster at least. So, but it still takes a long time. Yeah, I have no idea if if these drill bits are bad. But. Okay, and then a brick, a clay brick. This should be not as hard. Yeah, that was cool. That works really well. Another feature that this drill has uh, in front of any drill or any portable drill I've ever had before is that you can put a 13 millimeter drill bit in here and it says here that 13 millimeters is about half an inch. So that's pretty cool. It has this e torque control on top of the drill and that's uh, to not over tighten something so if you use this e torque and put it to something smaller it will when you grip it it will cut over probably Might have to have something in here. Okay, maybe I have to hold this. So this Tox control, if we turn it all the way down to one, and I try to hold this, it will kind of, it feels like it's digitally um, cutting off and not pulling too hard. As I turn it up, um, I'm not able to hold it anymore. That's this e talk thing. And in the small gears, I can hold it and it will cut off after a bit of time. And it will complain. So we can, let's turn it up to three. It pulls a bit harder. They brag that you can, with a, with one battery, you can put in 800 screws, and with the same battery or a bigger battery. Well, this is a 2.5 amp hour battery, 800 screws. This is a probably a 5 amp hour. I'm guessing that the last 50 stands for 5 amp hours. Um, you can drill 397 holes. Um, I am not planning on testing that. It's brushless, it's full metal, and there is a nice drawing. And I, I figured out this must be two gears. So that was, I didn't understand the drawing right away. The weird thing about these drills are that um, this one is from the EU. It says this on the box. If, if we go down here, it says www.ryobitools.eu and they have these numbers if you want the same one in the united states it has a different number series and that is really weird when you have to um, tell someone else what drill you just got hmm but i will link to this in the description from amazon in the us and i'll i'll find it it has such a cool sound Okay, some moron bought a drill and uh, showed it off and he forgot to end this video. So I've been using this drill for a couple of projects, mostly the solar charging battery bank. I have no idea what I should call that project, 
but I didn't finish the video and I was editing the footage and there was no ending so I have prepared an ending up here so behind me I have my collection of Ryobi tools so um, let's go um, see those okay so for the last three years I have been collecting Ryobi tools um, using this Ryobi one plus battery series and I do kind of have a couple of batteries now for them the biggest one is this 4 amp hour battery that is currently on the drill but I also want to show you my old cordless drills this cordless drill was a really cheap ass one that I got when I bought this house and that's um, 10 years it's more than 10 years ago now and this one was a 150 crowner 18 volt drill and it came with a case full of bits and bytes and uh, drills and for metal and concrete and wood and well it did a, a fair amount of work in a couple of years and then it um, decided not to uh, well it, it died up here this is uh, broken so it wasn't really good for anything anymore so I gave that up and in the meantime I had started to work with servers and found out that a redundant solution is the way to go so I got two of these these are ripoff brand they're only available here in Denmark and it's one of the big home improvement centers they have their own brand and it's called Falcon um, a funny thing about these Falcon drills they have a 18 volt power packs just like any other Ryobi tool and they actually <laughs> kind of fit over the Ryobi tools which I have always found very amusing because this drill was like 400 Danish crowns just under $50 where one of these good batteries would be more than that at least here they would be more but as you can see I've been I've been collecting these tools every time I wanted a new tool I've made sure that they um, are the Ryobi brand so that I can keep building on my battery solution and the more tools I have uh, the more use I get out of the batteries and as I showed earlier in the video these batteries are very expensive here uh, and this one needs just a bit of charging so um, so it's a really good thing to keep that in mind. Here is the history of my Ryobi tools. I started with this multi-tool. I needed that to cut something and I decided that I wanted the Ryobi one. So I started with that one. Then I went on to get the circular saw. Um, also, I needed that. Then I got this jigsaw, most, mostly because I thought it was cool because I already had two jigsaws. And then I got I got the angle grinder and the receptacating the receptacating saw uh, for my birthday. That's two years ago now. Um, my birthday is coming up 10th of November. Then not long ago I got this one. Um, I bought that myself, and you saw that in a video. I was painting uh, the house. I've never completed that, and then just last week I got this one and um, I'm now finishing the video on that one it looks so cool I kind of like these tools I think they're really someone at the design team has made some really cool tools this one I just love the looks of that one it's such a cool tool a new tool has joined the family of uh, Ryobi tools in my tool case tool box well, Mostly they're just spread all over the table up here. I usually keep them up here because I don't know why. I'm looking very much forward to enjoying this drill for many years to come. I might actually go get one more just to have that redundant solution like in servers and hot spares and fail safe and active active. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a very nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.